What is up, YouTube? Jojo Crick here, for you. So, today I'm going to be talking about the companions and the whole companion system in Fallout 4. Um, I'm really excited about this uh, new feature and how you can totally control uh, everything they do. We haven't seen any um, human companions yet, but we've seen two, uh, like, uh, secondary companion, com companions like uh, Edie or Rex in Fallout New Vegas. And those two secondary companions was one dog, and um, that dog is so cute. But it's not um, like the old dog meets in the other games. The That was like a blue healer in the other games, and this new dog is a German Shepherd, I'm pretty sure. Um... So what Todd Howard, I'm pretty sure Todd Howard said was that later in the main story tells you that the dog's name is actually dog meat, and I don't know how they get to that conversation, but we'll, we'll just have to see. Uh, he also did say that dog meat is invincible because, um, I know I did, whenever dog meat dies in like Fallout 3 or Fallout 1... Uh, I just reload the save, the save because I I don't want to do the game without dog meat. That was like my first companion that I ever went to get because he's just so awesome. And he died really fast though, <laughs> and that was also a mod that I got that dog meat can't die. Um, so the other companion was a Mister Handy robot that you had before the war. I think this is really cool because. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that this is the first uh, Mr. Handy robot that is uh, can be a uh, companion, and I'm really excited because they seem like they could be really powerful, like with a buzz saw, and they have a flamethrower. It just looks amazing. I can't wait. <clears throat> but uh, one big thing is that, is it just dog meat who's invincible, or will it be all companions? I would think that it would be all companions, but I don't really know. Uh, thank you for watching. This has been JoJo Crick.